If your bill is not doing this, then you have a fake bill. So in this video, we're gonna be going over pretty much every single thing you need to know about counterfeit bills, counterfeit $100 bills. By the end of this video, you are going to know exactly if the bill you have in your hand is real or fake or what you have. Um, I'm gonna go over all of the features, all the ways how to find out if your bill is fake or not. So as you see here, we have a more modern 2009A $100 bill. This has tons of security features, which makes this bill extremely difficult to counterfeit. They are possible, they are out there. I will show you an example of a counterfeit bill on the screen right now. Some of the most obvious ones are where you look at Benjamin's face and he just looks completely different than what you have here. So one of the best ways to find if you have a counterfeit bill is simply by comparing it to another bill you have. So if you have two $100 bills and you think one of them is fake, then just hold them side by side, see if they look different, that's one way. Um, now a lot of people have questions about their older $100 bills. Now this one is a Federal Reserve banknote brown seal from New York. Um, but the older bills look just like this pretty much outside of the seal and the serial number is gonna be green instead of brown. This is the smaller Benjamin Franklin um, portrait we have here. And a, a general rule of thumb for counterfeit bills is the older the bill, the easier it's gonna be for someone to counterfeit that bill. Simply because as you can see here, the, the progression over time of the security features that have been had added onto the notes like increases dramatically. And these security features make it really, really difficult for counterfeiters to make a genuine looking bill. Now, as you can see here, I'm waving this blue security feature around on the bill. And this security feature alone right here, is, this is called a security strip or a security thread. Now, to, to weave this inside of the paper, it, make, it is extremely difficult. Even the original producers of this note had a hard time doing it at the BEP. Um, Another thing that is really difficult to replicate is the watermark. Just had to change the angle of my light really quickly. So the watermark is going to be located in this white area right here on the bills. Um, you can hold it up to a light and you can see in the backlight that there is a watermark. Now on the older bills, they do not have watermarks, which makes them easier to counterfeit. Um, it is extremely difficult for a counterfeiter to just put a watermark inside of a bill. Now, another thing to look out for is if you backlight, which I'm doing right here, your your old bill, and you see that it is a different person than who's on the bill. So, say you have the backlight of a of Abraham Lincoln, but you have a hundred dollar bill. That is, I've seen notes like that. That is a telltale sign that someone took a five five dollar bill. You know, it's a sign that someone took a five dollar bill. This is a this is a red seal, but a newer one, and they wiped out all the ink and they put a one hundred dollar bill on the same paper as the five dollar bill. So if you hold up your one hundred dollar bill, and there's an Abraham Lincoln watermark, that means you have a counterfeit one hundred dollar bill. Another indicator that you have a fake one hundred dollar bill is the paper. The paper on these notes feels. It feels a lot different than counterfeit bills. Unless, like I said, someone took a $5 bill, erased all the ink, and then put a $100 bill on top of the, with the same paper. So a lot of the times people are using, you know, printer paper, really low quality printer paper to make counterfeit bills. So that's an extremely easy way if you just feel the paper. You know, go in your printer, grab a piece of paper, and see how it feels. On top of that, uh, I don't have it right here, but ultraviolet light, if you hit these bills with ultraviolet light, it's going to look a lot different than if you hit a counterfeit bill. So if you have an ultraviolet light, that is another way that it will it will look. If you want to buy a UV light, uh, I'll leave a link in the description below with a really good UV light. It shows uh, security threads. It also backlights. It shows the watermark, as well as magnetic ink, which is something we don't talk about in this video but it is another indicator of a fake note. And the only way to find that is with this type of UV um, detector that I will show in the video description below. So if you want a really good quality UV light to look for counterfeit bills, go ahead, check out that link in the description below. 
if a note glows and lights up like like a Christmas tree, quite honestly, then you have a counterfeit bill. Another way to tell if you have a counterfeit bill is the engraving. So pretty much all, all USBP printed bills are engraved. The main part of these bills were printed using a printing process called engraving or intaglio. Now these bills are all intaglio outside of the serial number and seals. Um, so pretty much if you just feel your hand across, it's very slightly raised print on the bill here. Another way to tell is if you have a, a jeweler's loop. If you're able to take the jeweler's loop and really loop the print here, this is a bit more advanced, but this is a de definite way to tell. You'll be able to tell just by looking here how fine and detailed all this all of this is. Now, if you have a counterfeit bill, this is going to look extremely blurry under a loop. Sometimes it'll even look like someone ran it through a printer, which is a telltale sign of a counterfeit note as well. So as I said on the uh, newer notes, there's a lot more security features. Even this 2006 has what we call optically variable ink, OVI, and that is the ink down here on this 100. This is a special type of ink that will change colors depending on the angle that you have it at. So this is another security feature that is extremely difficult to reproduce. So if you have a bill, so if you have a newer, quote unquote, newer $100 bill with the big face Benjamin, um, it, it, look for that, look for the OVI ink, look for the watermark here, make sure that is good. Another thing with the newer bills, so like I said, the newer bills, you're much less likely to have counterfeit bills. Again, here we have the OVI ink, which makes it extremely difficult to counterfeit. If your bill is not doing this, if your bill is not doing this, then you have a fake bill. Um, but like I said, the older the bill is, the more difficult it is going to be to distinguish between a counterfeit and a genuine bill. Like I said, going over the indicators, going over the, you know, feel the paper, make sure it feels how it should. Um, if it feels like literally like printer paper, then it probably is printer paper and it's not real. But if you have something that feels like an, like a like a real bill, that's a good indicator. You know, being able to feel the raised intaglio print on these notes. It's not like very surface level. These are very high detail notes we have here. Um, if the print on the seal is the same as the print on Benjamin's face, that is going to be a fake bill. So as you can see on these bills, it's going to be letter press. Oh, let's see if we can get this without a glare. So it's gonna, it's gonna, the print is gonna be a bit different. It's actually gonna be a lot different. So if you think that you have a hundred dollar bill, make sure that you're going over all these steps that I included here. Um, chances are your your bill is real. Um, if it is fake, you know it's it's technically illegal to own. You know you should not be in possession of fake dollar bills. You know any counterfeit bills. It is against the law. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. It would help out with the YouTube algorithm. If you have any questions about your $100 bill, make sure to leave them down in the comment section below and I will get back to you. Thanks for watching.